first Fast and Furious back in 2001. And we, we had already released it in America and we were going over to, to Europe to, to introduce the film to the European audience. And I remember telling the studio at the time, don't make another Fast and Furious. <laughs> No, we have to make another one. I said, no, don't make another one. I'm not. If, if, if Rebel Without a Cause had a sequel, it wouldn't be a classic. Now you guys have a classic. Don't make another one. But they didn't listen to me. <laughs> um, they tried to get me to do the second one, and I didn't want to do it. And then... Um, How they called this, Jimmy? They convinced me because uh, they came to me and said, Every time we give you a script, then you say no to the sequel. So you produce it, and you work with the writer, and you come up with the future of the Fast franchise as a producer and as a saga visionary. And I said, okay. And then I started working with the writer, and the rest was history. I found out that you are a nerd like me. You love Dungeons and Dragons. I'm anything like you because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm anything like you because I love so, you. <laughs> Guys, really, look how beautiful she is. You guys you. think it's a joke. How am I supposed to sit up here when I'm looking at such beauty? Come on. She's guys. beautiful. She's so beautiful. I'm in love. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the interview. <laughs> <laughs> so you play Dungeons and Dragons. I play Dungeons and Dragons for many, many. Um, Gary Gygax, you know who Gary Gygax is? He's the one that created all the books. Oh. He's the one that created Dungeons and Dragons. When he was on his deathbed, because he passed away a couple years ago, a few years ago, uh, he, he wanted me to, he said he wanted me to tell his life story. Um, which is crazy for anybody that plays Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> guy that actually said they want you to tell a life story. I played for many, many, many years, and in some ways, um, playing Dungeons and Dragons helped me in telling stories in Hollywood, because you have to think so far in advance. So with Hollywood, with even Fast and Furious, I could think three movies in advance. And a lot of that was because of my experience playing Dungeons and Dragons and having to think about a campaign so far ahead, um, you really become a master of creating worlds. And I, I owe a lot to Dungeons and Dragons. Cool. And now you're back with Sander Cage. It's like 14 years since the first movie. Whose idea was that to, to come back with this franchise? His idea! <laughs> Uh, it was, um, it, it took me seven years to decide to make another fast, and to decide to make another triple S. It took me seven years to decide to return, and then it took me another seven years to make it a reality. Um, because uh, Furious 7, Fast and Furious 7 was so hard, because uh, I've obviously lost my brother Pablo. I needed to do a movie where I could laugh again. I needed to do a movie where I could smile again. I needed to do a movie where I could just have fun. And that's what Triple X is. Triple X is, is a movie that brings fun back into the theater. You know, we, in the 80s and 90s, there were movies that you can go to that were just fun, but lately there hasn't been a whole lot of movies where you just have fun, and I needed it for my life, uh, and now because I needed it for my life and I did the movie, now the world's going to be able to have fun with this movie to play. Great. And I don't know if you know that, but while I was doing my research, I found out that people love to put hair on you. Why? Like... <laughs> Oh God! Oh man! Oh God! That's I was wondering which one 
one? Would you like this is a Trump one? <laughs> Look at the Trump a one. Mary oh, God, oh, come on. That's so funny. Sparrow. Have you, you haven't I like seen Sparrow. this? I like Sparrow. Black Widow. <laughs> Oh God! Why me? I, I put Vin Diesel on Google and that kind of came That's up. That's so funny. That's I so like. Funny. Can I see it? Yeah. Ba 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 ba. Look how funny this is, man. <laughs> Which one do you like best? I like this one the best. <laughs> And the last thing I wanted, I saw you speaking I am Groot in so many languages, but I don't know if you ever said it in Portuguese. So I brought you. I did say it. Did you? Eu sou o Groot. Eu sou o Groot. Eu sou o Groot. Eu. Man, you're so fucking sexy. It's not, I can't do this interview. Look at her. Eu sou o Groot. Can you not say this? She's Guys, yeah. I don't know. What's wrong? Am I the only one that's saying it? Look at her. <laughs> She's so fucking beautiful, Thank it's you. like you can't even do an interview with her because she's just like da 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 Right or wrong? <laughs> oh my god, man, someone saved me. When did this turn into a beautiful world? When did this turn into the most gorgeous girl in Brazil? When did this turn into I love you? Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah.